What is poppin' YouTube? It's DB Towns 24 here, back to you guys with another video. I'm sitting here at home, I realized I haven't made a video in a minute, so um, I went ahead and just uh, kind of picked out some shoes that I can do a video on. I have some shoes on the way, I think I have like three to four pickups on the way. Um, I spent quite a bit of money this past weekend, so <laughs> it sucks, but hey, if you want to continue to do videos, you kind of have to spend the money. So I do have some pickups on the way. But uh, they're not here yet, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick video on these. I've had some people ask me about these anyway. Some people was like, yo, DB Town, can you do a video on your 17s from the Countdown Pack? So here they are. Um, before I get into the shoes themselves, of course, just like I did on my Carmine review, I will show you guys the receipt that came with my package. So right here, you have Air Jordan Countdown. 309 plus tax was uh, 331. So here's the receipt for the Countdown Pack. And uh, here are the shoes and the background. To me, 17s are way, way, way underrated. Way, way, way underrated. 17s on feet and just in general look sick as fuck to me. Um, just so many things about the 17s are just crazy dope. I mean, you can go with materials. 17s out of all of them, I think they all use really dope materials. This one uses a really nice, I'm assuming this is a suede. Um, so you guys can see the materials on this. Let me get you guys a closer look at it. Um, the materials on this are on point. The suede they use, all black suede. You can see there is some distress right here because these have been worn. I bought these used, so um, though they are used, still in very, very good condition. Overall condition on them is still A1. Have a little jump man in the back right there. Um, you do have Jordan right here. Jump man right there. Uh, if you look at the bottom, you can see that there's uh, some gunk right there. I still have to kind of wash these. They just kind of been sitting in the box ever since I got them. Uh, the car mines, I'm scared to wear. I'm just going to try to get the new ones that come out so I can keep my old ones still good. But uh, these, I'm definitely going to wear. I just want to kind of clean it up. So I still need to kind of clean up the bottom. Nonetheless, though, still in pretty good condition. I don't know what material this is, but you guys can kind of hear that noise it makes. These have the grill on them, and I actually like the way these look with the grill on them. If you guys don't know what the grill is, it's this little piece on the front. They basically disconnect. Like, if you pull this out right here, um, you just kind of pull that out. And you guys can see you have the laces under here. You have the lock, which is, the lace lock is kind of yellowed a bit. So, yeah, man, I've seen people actually even wear it with this flap kind of sticking out like this. Kind of like an Air Force One. The way and just kind of have that hang like that. I honestly don't know how I would wear it, man. Um, just let me know how you guys wear your 17s. If you do like 17s, if you don't, I think that you're sleeping on these things because 17s to me are are just some sick ass shoes. Similar to the 13s, you have the little Jordan tab right here. There's nothing behind it though, so there's no Roman numerals behind it. Little jump man right there, just like I already said, round laces. But one of the things I did definitely like. Uh, they threw in the, the lace tips. I just don't know why Jordan brand doesn't do this enough. Even Nike in general, why why the fuck do they not give us lace tips often? It's, it's almost like, you know, everything's just black lace tips. E even if they just gave us plastic different color lace tips, I would even like that. But on these ones, they gave you the metal silver lace tips or chrome lace tips. So uh, with that, I think that was definitely neat and dope right there. Kind of has a little weird looking tongue. I will give it that. Um, it fits the shoe shape. But uh, generally, like when the tongue's sticking out like that, it looks a little weird. And that's just pretty much it, guys. It's DB Town 24 here, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next review, unboxing, rant, whatever I just really decide to do for that day. What are you doing, guys? Click that like button. Peace.
say I actually like these shoes um, better with the with the little grill off which actually surprised me I like the grill better when the shoe is stationary and when it's just like a display piece but as far as on foot um, me personally just looking from a bird's eye view and just from what I see I feel like I like it better with the grill off let me know what you guys think in the comments below how did you like it like when you rock your 17s or if you're just watching me rock mine do you like it better with the grill off or with the grill on also you guys can see I did kind of switch up how I'm doing this on foot um, I'm getting a lot more of my jeans I've had people tell me that it was too close and I do listen to you guys when you guys tell me comments I think I had just got so accustomed to doing it really close so I just kind of stuck with that but um, I've thought in the past before that yo I should back this up but I just got so accustomed to it that I, that's just how I kind of did it but now I'm gonna do them like around this range so let me know what you guys think about that and with that being said I'm out guys